do you guys promise not to judge me? Because it is messy and I'm showing you real life here. Um, please don't judge me. It is messy. I got little kids and not that much time to clean. So they're on summer holiday and it is exhausting. Hi, welcome to Yovi's home. I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Today, I wanted to make kind of like a, a little bit of a fun video. Say hello to Vinny over there. Um, where I'm gonna show you seven kind of stylistic or structural changes that we made to our home to make it a little bit more American. And if that sounds good to you, why don't you come on in, kick off your shoes and stay a while. I'm really glad you're here. So, you guys, before we get into it, I just wanna say I'm gonna be showing you parts of my home um, and I don't really, like I don't want anybody to think that I'm bragging or showing off. That's not the purpose here. This, per th this video is supposed to just be a little bit light and fun and just to show you how I mix a little bit of like my American side with the Dutch side. Um, my house is a Dutch house. It's like a three level uh, house. We are not a, f a villa or something like that. We have three more neighbors on the side um, that are all under one roof. So it's called like a row house, um, but it is new. So we bought a new built house or a new bow house and in the Netherlands, when you buy a new bow house, um, then you get to choose like a lot of things. So, you know, before the house was built, we could decide if we wanted to move any walls or structural changes or things like that. So some of the changes that I'm gonna show you are actually things that we did as part of the um, building process of the house and the pre-building planning phase. And then other things like, you know, some appliances that I have, those are things that are just like a little bit American. Um, one thing that I think about when I think about an American house is they're kind of, at least to me, like the houses that I've lived in, and again, I'm, I mean, I was in Arizona, so probably in New York, you're gonna get a different uh, picture of that. Like maybe Joey, Joey Jack can uh, let us know what he thinks, but at least in Arizona where the houses are large and you have lots of room for all kinds of storage and stuff, it's not the same as the Netherlands, but what I wanna say is the, the way that houses are, to me, in the America where I lived, things were just meant to be very comfortable and very just like, that's the, the purpose of certain things was just for your comfort or for your convenience. And that's what I tried to do when choosing certain things in my house that I'm gonna show you now. So what do you guys think? You wanna see the first thing? We are gonna start, I'm gonna, probably gonna say in my favorite room for every single room, but the kitchen, living, dining room, this this area that you see behind me in the kitchen where I'm sitting in now, um, certainly is the, our most used room in the house because, well, this is the family room. This is where we are all the time. And this is, even though we have a little office, this is even though where I prefer to sit and work. So when I'm doing YouTube stuff, I'm actually sitting here in the kitchen. So this is kind of like my everything space. And I knew that when we were building this house, that the kitchen was the place that I really needed to be very functional for me. In my old house that we sold, that was not a functional kitchen for me. Um, so some of the things that we put in there are really for that. So let's do it. Transition time. Okay. So the first thing that I wanted to mention is this kitchen island um, that we put in when we were building the kitchen. Now, I know that a lot of Dutch homes uh, might have a kitchen island, but usually they will be serving some kind of purpose. So either there will be like a stove, or no, not a stove, like a cooktop, or maybe there would be um, like a sink here in the island. I didn't want any of that. All I wanted was a huge table, prep space, workspace. So when I'm doing my cooking videos or when I'm preparing food for my family, I can stand here and look in that direction and this is where my kids will play. So I can have an eye on them for the majority of the time and I'm using this as a prep area, always have count, you know, counter space and then um, of course we can eat here. So if you can see, we have three chairs and then a chair for my baby. So we can all sit here as a family and have 
um, dinner, breakfast, whatever, or we can sit at the like more formal table over there. But actually we've literally used this table um, just at Christmas. So we always sit at the island. It's kind of like the hangout where people come. Uh, just in case you're wondering, this is a wine fridge. Um, so that's the only kind of appliance that we have installed there. Um, and that was just like a very fun thing that I wanted to have. So, okay. So the next thing that I wanted to mention that is very American is this fridge. Some of you have commented on it uh, if you've seen my previous videos, but um, yeah, it was something that I really wanted. When we first moved to the Netherlands, we had that typical teeny tiny fridge that was probably just like this big. If you're from the States and you're watching this, we would have those in our dorm rooms at university, like a dorm size fridge. That is also something normal here. It's not unusual to have that. And then you kind of shop every day for fresh products. Um, but this is not that, obviously it's an American fridge. Also, if you are wondering, let me just zoom you over here. This is like our, our dishwasher. So you can see how that's actually built in to look the same as our cabinets. Um, but that's, and that's typically how a fridge would look in the Netherlands. It would have the same kind of thing as the cabinet, so it blends in. Um, the reason that I did not want that is because I really wanted to be have a magnetic surface for things that my son, when he draws or does something at school, that we can display it. And what bothers me about those like blended in refrigerators is that you just can't really see it. Or maybe, I mean, I guess you could use tape and stuff, but I just like this fridge magnets and you know, we can put up anything that Leo draws and Luna too eventually. And he's really happy because we're constantly switching up his artwork. Um, and he can feel really proud that he has a little place for his stuff at our house. So yeah, I'm not gonna open the fridge for you guys. Uh, I have other videos where I talk about my fridge. Um, but yeah, this is kind of a huge thing. Oh, and I love this water dispenser. Yeah, if you're American, you also are used to drinking really cold water or ice water. That's not so typical here. People just drink like tap water from the tap. In my fridge, it is tap water. I just, it, it is tap water in there, but it's just cooled. And so I love that. It's very nice and cold. I can fill up my cup and use it. So there you go. One more thing before we go upstairs, and again, this is not so much American, so this video is clearly not that well organized. Bad Yovi. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but one of you asked me, what is it that I have behind my um, like cooktop? Uh, in a cooking video, you guys were commenting that it looked like a place that was pretty easy to clean. And all I did when we were designing our kitchen is I asked them to take whatever, like this countertop that we chose, which is just like a cheap thing. Like it was not a fancy, it's not marble or anything fancy. But we asked them to, whatever this is, to make a thing that goes up to this suction hood. So it is counter. So basically anything that splatters, it's super easy to clean. I can just wipe it away and it looks nice and white and it keeps the kitchen. Oh God, you're seeing all the, all the mess. I'm sorry. But yeah, I have a little one who likes to eat cables. So we have to put everything away. Do you guys have kids like that that are still in like the cables are like the most fun thing to eat ever? Anyway, I just wanted to mention that. So if you are getting to, if you're designing your kitchen and you wanna have something super easy to clean, like with the tiles, you do have that grout in between, you have to clean it or whatever. With this, it's just one piece, one sheet, easy to clean, wipe away, thumbs up. All right, so if you have a house in the Netherlands, you probably have an under the stairs cabinet where you keep all of your crap back up back up back up okay so this is where we keep all of our stuff like your cleaning supplies your you know your vacuum cleaners this is like my recycling bag for my plastic and you know all that stuff. so we're just not going to ignore that but this is the part i wanted to talk about that i consider like a little bit of an american influence or an american inspiration because i really miss coat closets in the netherlands a lot of people, and maybe I'll even show you mine, but like when you walk into the entrance of someone's house, they just have, you know, they have like hooks and things where they can hang up their coats. Well, in our old house, the entrance was so tiny and, you know, you have a, a winter coat, a raincoat, and then your kids have their coats and then the shoes and all this stuff. It was just taking up so much space that I felt like when you walked into my house, you were just like walking into a closet and no matter how tidy I tried to keep it, 
it never felt tidy. So it was important to me when we moved into this house that we have a place for like my jackets, my husband's, the kids, and then for the guests, they're the ones that that keep the their coats at the front door. So that when you walk in, I mean, and I can also close this and then it's gone. And yeah, here's where you just come in from the outside. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm standing kind of in my doorway and you can imagine what this would look like if I put all of those jackets that you just saw kind of hanging there. There would be no room for anybody when they walk in. Here, maybe this is a better view. So when you walk in, I mean, just even this one raincoat, it's already taking up space. So um, here we have our shoes. These are like little shoe cabinets that we got in Ikea. Um, and also this thing is from Ikea. So this is like a very Ikea doorway, but at least we keep this free for guests and whoever comes that they can hang up their coat and it just feels like, you know, like a clean entrance into the into our home. And if you're wondering what this is, it's a stairs basket. So I use this to put anything, like any dirty dish towels or anything that I have, um, you know, if your kids make a mess, get their clothes dirty, whatever uh, that needs to go upstairs, I just put it all in this basket throughout the day. And then whenever I'm going upstairs, I take the basket with me and sort it out. But you know, it's cute. I think it's cute there, so. Okay, now we are in my master bedroom. And the thing that I wanna talk about in here is actually above me. And I'll, let me show you. Do you see it? It is a ceiling fan, which in the winter time is off and we just use the light. So this is the light source in our bedroom and it's also the cooling source in our bedroom. Now, um, ceiling fans are like a pretty normal thing to have uh, in the States or at least again in Arizona where I, where I grew up. Um, and if you guys are from the States, one thing that is uncommon in the Netherlands is to have air conditioning in your house. You don't need it that often. It's not really like that cold or sorry, that hot um, often, but when it's hot, it is freaking hot. Like it is so hot. Um, and then you regret your life that you did not <laughs> order that very expensive air conditioner, but we didn't um, because a ceiling fan is also oftentimes enough. Um, I love these ceiling fans. We use them on a low setting, like all year actually pretty much that we use them just to circulate the air. Um, it's also the light and it's really, really nice. Like now when we had this heat wave recently, well, I don't know when you're gonna see this video, but when we had the heat wave in the Netherlands, my kids were able to sleep through the night because we had the, the fans on high and they were just sleeping just like that and it was fine. So. If this is some improvement that you, you know, are thinking of maybe making your house, I really highly recommend getting a ceiling fan with a light. They're not the most beautiful, but they're actually really practical and make it very comfortable. I also use this ceiling fan quite a lot in the winter time. So if I'm cooking something and then you know how like your house can kind of like get smelly, like smell like something that you've made. Well, these ceiling fans help you just to like open your window for a short period of time circulate the air and then the smell is gone so they're very handy also for that so that is another american inspiration in my dutch home shall we move on okay guys hi <laughs> so the next american inspiration in my dutch home is this place and you're probably thinking you'll be all dutch homes have a bathroom or a shower <laughs> That's not American, and I'm here to tell you what is American about it is that this is not the only shower um, room in our house. This is in our master bedroom. So in the States, it's very common that you have multiple bathrooms um, in your house. And usually some of those, well, not some, one of those will be in the master bedroom, um, and that's what we did here. So basically the plan for this house was that this floor where I am now, the, the first floor of the house, will have, oh, excuse Vinny, he always wants to be in the videos. Um, but basically the plan was that this floor, the first floor has four bedrooms. We turned it instead into three bedrooms on this floor and then instead joined the two that were here and created a master bathroom and then a closet behind there. So 
that is something that is quite American, I think, or Canadian or whatever, but that we have our own place. This is just for me and my husband. It's teeny tiny. I mean, literally I can touch easily touch both walls when I'm standing here, but it doesn't matter. It just really feels like my place, like a little oasis just for me and him without some of the baby stuff. Okay, and so the next thing I wanted to show you is here. This is in our guest room. So we made a little guest room because both my husband and I have aging parents who are coming to visit us from far away and they usually stay for a long time. We wanted to give them a cozy, comfortable place for them, but we really wanted to amp up the cozy factor by putting in a closet. And this is on a barn door type of sliding system so that they can come and easily just put whatever they have when they come to visit. But then the super kind of American thing I think that we did in this room is that we added a third toilet. So most Dutch houses will have a toilet on the ground floor, a toilet on the main floor, and then no toilet on the, the second floor. But we really wanted to put something here because that way your guests have, you know, a private place where they can go obviously to their, you know, it's in their room and hopefully they can feel cozy. So this is, if you're ever a guest at my house, this is where you stay. And Vinny, who is always there, you know, he, he has his little bed in here too. So, huh Vinny, you like when people come visit, don't you? Cause then you get some extra petting. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Maybe it's better if Yobi's a professional and turns off the dryer. Okay. One thing that's like, you know, we really wanted a sink because when you're doing laundry, you need a sink sometimes, right? <laughs> to wash things. And since I'm not in the bathroom or in the kitchen, my nearest sink is like, you know, several feet away and then I need to carry around wet stuff. It's just not practical. Um, but then yeah, we, we expanded it. See, dirty laundry pile, I'm sorry. But we ended up putting in a skylight because in my old house, I was kind of like in a really dark place when I was doing laundry and that didn't feel good because yeah, again, if you're a mom, you do laundry all the time. And so at least I get to do it in here. And um, at least I feel like I'm still in the house and it's daytime. <laughs> and then I we put these cabinets in here to just, you know, have some extra storage. Here I keep, for example, um, like, well, you can see it poking out here, some swimming stuff, but I also keep like the winter bedding. I keep that in here. Um, you know, like anything big and bulky that I don't want to keep in our room. So that is, that is that. All right, you guys. So that is the tour of all of the kind of like American-y inspiration bits of my home. I would love to know what you think. Uh, how much of this stuff would you say is American and how much would you just be like, no. <laughs> like, do you have any of this stuff at your house? Um, what, like, if you have any, like, American inspiration in your home, like, what is it? I'm really curious to know. What do you think of, like, the stuff that I showed you? Um, do you think it's practical? Do you think it's wasteful? Do you think it's stupid? Do you think it's nice? <laughs> Please let me know. I'm really curious to hear your comments below. And, yeah. Um, so that was kind of like a little bit of a house tour, but if you really, really want like a house tour, let me know. I will think about it. Um, it feels like a lot to show you guys like all of like really like my private spaces, but you know, if you guys really are curious and really want to see it, then maybe I'll do it. So just let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for coming over. Thanks for spending any time that you did with me. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Mwah. Bye.